Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we'll be making lush inspired bath bombs. Now who doesn't love the fizziness, relaxing smell and bubbly sensation of bath bombs in the tub? Recreate the magic of lush bath bombs with this fun and easy recipe and make memorable gifts for your family and friends. They'll love it. So let's get started. I'm gonna make homemade bath bombs. Very easy to make with things that you can easily buy in the supermarkets. So first, let's prepare the dry ingredients. So you will need one cup of baking soda, half a cup of citric acid, half a cup of Epsom salt. Now these are the dry ingredients. Just mix them well. Now let's prepare our wet ingredients. Now for the wet ingredients, one teaspoon of water now customize it to whatever color you like the food colors will not stain your skin as you are using only a small amount you have to wear gloves when making the bath bombs because it stains when it's in liquid form two teaspoons of baby oil you can use any oil that is safe for the skin two teaspoons one You can add any essential oil. I'm going to use eucalyptus. So three teaspoons of the essential oils. It smells so good. If you're giving gifts to someone, wearing gloves will be more hygienic. Now, the texture of the bath bomb petty bomb should be like wet sand and clumps in your hands. If it's still too powdery to hold together, just add a bit of the wet ingredient some more and mix it until it does hold together. Remember, you do not have to use all of the wet ingredient, just enough for the bath bomb powder to hold its shape. You have to work very fast because it starts to dry out. I want to prepare the other colors. All the colors of the rainbow, you know what they are. Nice to see you again, Roy G. Biv. Say it with me, red, orange, yellow, green, pink, purple. Wait, that doesn't spell out Roy G. Biv. Okay, so here are the bath bomb mold packaging all in one. The first and only plastic ball mold, which performs double duty as mold for bath bombs and packaging. No need for a shrink band. These molds snap together and come with a handy pre-punched eyelet for tying a ribbon or tag. They have given you a very generous selection of sizes. Now these plastic molds are reusable. Now you can make your ball bath bombs or your fizzies with ease. Okay, these molds will suit your needs. Ooh, that rhymed. Don't want to use these? No problem. Just use whatever you have at home like this container. Just pack it in like so and leave it for a week. See ya in a week. You have to let this dry for at least a week. I did that and it has dried very nicely. Now you can cut these up into pieces in such a way that all the colors run through the bath bomb bar that you're making. There's no fixed way to use these, okay? Use them however you like. Okay, demo time! Psych! Before the demo, I just want to talk about the gift aspect of bath bombs. Make an array of fragrant products to give the perfect present and unique gift whatever the occasion. Give your present an extra oomph by dressing them up in red organza gold rose jewelry drawstring pouch bags. Back to the demo! Uh-oh, so much effervescence.
Now let's talk about the benefits of eucalyptus oil. It is best known for its very woodsy sweet scent. It's said to have a bunch of health benefits from banishing brain fog to detoxifying the air in your home. While eucalyptus oil's evergreen scent and much of its medicinal effects are primarily thanks to a compound called eucalyptol, aka cineol, eucalyptus oil is packed with numerous natural compounds that work in synergy to produce a variety of health-promoting effects. And it's perfect combination with a bath bomb since you're going to be soaking yourself in it. Relax in your tub because the eucalyptus oil will relieve cold symptoms. When you're sick, stuffed up, and can't stop coughing, eucalyptus oil may help you provide some relief. This is because the eucalyptol seems to work as a natural decongestant. Seems to work as a natural decongestant. Oh my, why can't I say that word? This is because eucalyptol seems to work as a cough suppressant and will help you decongest by helping your body break down mucus and phlegm and opening up your airways. Second of all, it actually helps ease your pain thanks to eucalyptol's anti-inflammatory properties. Because eucalyptus oil helps to reduce pain and inflammation associated with many conditions. It may also be helpful to people experiencing back pain or those recovering from a joint or muscle injury. Again, always talk to your doctor about it if it may be right for you. Alrighty, what else? Eucalyptus oil's antimicrobial properties can help prevent infection and even support wound healing when combined with olive oil, ahem, as you can use it in the bath bomb, and it can make it very safe and a natural alternative if you're dealing with a minor wound. It keeps the mosquitoes away. So if you've taken a bath in this eucalyptus essential oil bath bomb, all the mosquitoes will stay away from you. Some might be a bit stubborn and still come and bite you. Now place your chosen bath bomb in the water and get lost in its whirling, twirling wonder. Why not celebrate your out-of-this-world experience by creating your own bath art? Which we have done today. Okay guys, so this is the result. This recipe for the bath bomb will give you amazing fizz. Always. And you can put them in any mold you want. You can put them in the cookie cutters, let them dry, then take them out. You can make so many designs, so many colors. So one, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Fiz. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.